Biden's dysfunctional eyes wanted to see the sci-fi stuff before his 150th birthday. But like a dysfunctional court, Lockheed Martin gave Biden a date. And things are pretty much back to square one. We will tell you all about it. But before that, if you're a fan of non-corporate funded free news and analysis, you've landed on the right YouTube channel. We publish three videos a day. First at 9.15 a.m. EST, second at 1.30 p.m. EST, and the third at 5.30 p.m. EST. So if that's of interest to you, tell us if you were to be Joe Biden for the day, what would you do? My name is Joe Biden. I love ice cream. In January 2019, Lockheed Martin was bestowed with the significant task of integrating a high-energy laser onto an AC-130 marking a pivotal moment in defense technology advancement. The U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command, AFSOC, subsequently revealed plans to conduct in-flight tests of this airborne laser on an AC-130J Ghost Rider gunship in 2023. Yet as time progressed, it became apparent that these ambitious trials had yet to commence. The Pentagon's goal to pioneer the first operational airborne laser weapon system encountered insurmountable obstacles, leading to a reassessment of the project's viability. The US Air Force abandoned the Airborne High Energy Laser AHEL, project for an AC-130J gunship. After the war zone reported AFSOC's acknowledgement of significant technical challenges, these issues emerged when the AHEL system showed high power in an open-air test but faced integration delays on the AC-130J Block 20, missing the test window. An AFSOC spokesperson noted the project pivoted towards ground testing to improve operations and reliability, aiming to prepare the technology for use by other agencies and maintained the goal of advancing laser weapons in defense. For years, the US military's rumor mill churned out whispers of an aerial laser-directed weapon systems that seemed more at home in a science fiction novel than on an actual battlefield. In 2019, Lockheed Martin emerged Victorious, securing the Pentagon's five-year AHEL, that is Airborne High Energy Laser Contract. This grand endeavor wasn't just about supplying a high-powered laser. It involved the Herculean task of melding this futuristic weapon onto the robust AC-130J gunship. The blueprint for this laser weapon system was nothing short of ambitious. It aimed to deliver precision in complex environments targeting everything from the enemy's chat groups, that is communication nodes, to their rides, that is light to medium duty vehicles, and even their power snacks, that is infrastructures as outlined in a US Special Operations Command Fiscal Year 2024 Budget Justification Book. Sounds fancy. With a beam control system that boasted a 60 kilowatt power rating, the Air Force's enthusiasm was palpable. Lockheed Martin, in a show of technological prowess, completed factory acceptance testing and proudly handed over the AHEL to the AFSOC in 2021. However, what followed was a series of delays that would make even the most patient of saints twitch. The much-anticipated unveiling of the first operational aerial laser-directed weapon has thus far been a tale of grand plans meeting the hard wall of reality, leaving defense enthusiasts and would-be sci-fi novelist hanging in suspense. Choosing an older Block 20 Ghost Rider for the AHEL integration was like updating a 2000s-era computer with modern gaming software, foreseeing a multitude of integration challenges. Officials warned of extensive testing to ensure the AC-130J and AHEL compatibility, aiming to prevent the project from becoming a costly spectacle. The Pentagon's 2025 budget notably excluded new AHEL funding while discussions about removing the gunship's 105mm howitzers surfaced, suggesting a shift towards high-end conflict rules, possibly in the Pacific. A proposed upgrade to an electronically scanned array, that is ASA radar, would 
transform the Ghost Rider into a precision targeting platform, enhancing its capability to identify and engage distant threats effectively. Floating ideas about arming the AC-130 with precision guided munitions for extended reach further indicate a shift towards ensuring the Ghost Riders remain relevant in the digital age. This vision of a future where gunships wield long-range, precision-guided munitions and possibly sans their traditional howitzers is a reminder of the constant evolution in military strategy and technology. One can't help but muse over the possibility of future AC-130Js entering a conflict zone not with a bang but with a discreet long-distance zap. Do you know Russia extended an olive branch towards the United States? Joe Biden took the branch and took it up his, well, you know. When he screamed, it came out as no to peace. Here is all you need to know about that.